Columbia says that through these fissures flowed hot, mineral-bearing waters and gases. And as the Earth spun off more millions of years, they crystallized. And in so doing, formed the most unusual and useful mineral fiber known to man. Largely unseen, seldom recognized, it has played a tremendously important role in the improvement of our standard of living. As you might expect, the Greeks had a name for it. They called it the unquenchable, indestructible stone. They called it asbestos. Unaffected by fire, unchanged by weather, untouched by time's dark captains, rust, rot, and decay, asbestos possesses rare qualities for which it stands alone. So fine are the individual asbestos fibers that it is only through the eye of the powerful electron microscope that they can be properly studied. Even when magnified 31,000 times, they appear delicate, gracefully hiding the fact that they are incredibly strong, stronger than many types of steel wire of the same thickness. At the same time, they are remarkably flexible and highly resistant to most chemicals. Man has never been able to duplicate their fibrous properties for commercial use. The most commercially useful variety of asbestos, called chrysotile, has been found in widely separated parts of the world. Only Canada, Africa, and Russia have abundant quantities. Less common types of asbestos, such as chrysotile and amosite, are mined mainly in Africa. <laughs> 